Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. I have been away um, for a night at least, and uh, I'm sworn to secrecy about what I'm up to, so let's hope Simon hasn't blabbed anything. Uh, <laughs> uh, now, Simon's also suggested that I have a look at this puzzle by Niverio. I'm not sure whether he thinks I had an easy ride with yesterday's puzzle, and he's recommended this to, uh, to change it up a bit. That's certainly what scares me. Anyway, I don't know how that's going to pan out, but we will have a look at this in a moment. I do like, I do like Niverio Puzzles. Brilliant constructor. I like the fact that this is just thermo and killer. Um, and when we say just in the context of Niverio, it doesn't mean just. It means something, something much, much more than just thermo and killer. There'll be something fascinating going on. You can almost guarantee it. And uh, I'm looking forward to giving it a go. But don't forget, right, on Patreon, we have got the Skunk Works um, 6x6 Next Editions Trick or Treat Sudoku Pack for October. And there are hidden puzzles within it. And we're publishing a video on Patreon. It may be there now telling you how to access the hidden puzzles in case you haven't found them already yourself. Um, so, very well done to all of the hundreds of people who have sent in correct answers to the pack. There are intermediate and final stage correct answers, and um, it's a very impressive pack of puzzles, as you would expect from constructors of the caliber of the Skunk Works. Um, some great names amongst the constructors, and some who will be known as great names after this. Anyway, we will, that's all on Patreon. Check it out. Um, there's also going to be my crossword solve for the month. I don't think that's up yet, but I have recorded it. I may not have turned it into a video yet. Um, and that'll be on Patreon soon, the, the Times Monthly Club special. Also, of course, we've got um, our apps, including the new Line Sudoku app very popular pack of puzzles out check the link in the description field under the video for the apps get the ctc app which is free and then look for the content within that and you can find as well as the old 500k puzzles there's also line sudoku do check it out and the gas apps as well are all there so anyway that's all the stuff that you can look up in the description field along with our merchandise and spend sudoku pad but the first link is to vibrations by Niverio, and the rules are as follows. Normal Sudoku rules apply. We'll be putting one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Uh, digits may not repeat within cages. I think that's clear from how the cages sit within boxes. Cages show their sums, so those three will add up to 13. Digits along a thermo increase starting from the bulb end, and that's it, no given digits. Five little cages, seven little thermos, Probably not worth good lifting those. That is not a promise. Um, and hopefully the scaffolders have just finished. I've watched them put their ladders up, which normally means they're done for the day. Um, we'll see if that transpires to be correct. But um, those, those, this is the situation. Give it a try on the link under the video. I am going to reset my clock and start now. Let's get cracking. So. So. So there's nothing to go on here. What on earth are you meant to do here? These shapes of thermo are interesting because they go in, well, this one's even more interesting. Look, there's, there's a lot of symmetry here, isn't there? There's four of these thermos that bend once. Now, okay, what Simon would say is that this digit appears somewhere here in row. Ah, this is good. Okay, this digit, let's do it for column one and ask where does this digit from the bulb of the thermo appear in column one. It cannot appear on the same thermo because as the digits increase, they clearly don't repeat. So in column one, this digit can't be in this box or it would repeat within the box. Can't be here or it would repeat along the thermo. Therefore, it's in the 20 cage. And that does have a certain minimum value. You can't put a 1 or a 2 in the 20 cage. 
three eight nine is the value the the components of the cage with the minimum individual value in. So this is at least a three, and I said I wouldn't good lift the thermos, and here we go. That one is three, four, five, or six. This is four, five, six, or seven, five, six, seven, or eight, six, seven, eight, or nine. Only four choices. It's worth pencil marking the candidates, I reckon. Now that cell in this box will be in one of those places, and it's going to be in the 20 cage. And yes, okay, where do one and two go in the column? Of course, they are down here in box seven. And that means this bulb is not one or two either. So again, I'm going to pencil mark. Doesn't give me anything yet, but where do one and two go in row nine? They can't go in these cells because the one and two in this box are there. So you could have one in the corner. Otherwise, well, I suppose there was always going to be a one or a two in a three cell 11 cage. Um, maybe that's not quite as exciting as I was hoping. This digit is going to be in the cage as well, though. Ah, so it's not a one, two, eight cage. That's interesting. This digit in row nine must be in the cage for exactly the same reasons we talked about here. It can't be on its own thermo again, and it can't be in those cells, so it must be in these. And that is going to rule the cage out from having the composition of one, two, eight, which would put both one and two in it. Therefore, only one of one or two is in the 11 cage, and the other one in this row is going to have to be here in the corner. I haven't got an actual digit, but I've got one cell down to two candidates, and I feel quite good about that. In an Averio puzzle, that is worth something. Probably. Um, okay, I don't know what that means next. But I probably have to keep working on this sort of principle around the puzzle. And we've got these other thermos to consider. So this digit must go in one of those three. Again, it can't be one or two, because no, no it can, that's not true. It can be a two. It can't be one. Oh. Oh, that's a thought. I've just thought about... Four here would be in that cage with nine and seven. And then this would have to be eight, five, six, and this. So anything other than a three here is gonna force this group of cells to be one, two, three. That's really interesting, because whatever this is, is going in that cage. And since it can't be eight or nine, if it's not a three, it's not going with a three in that cage. And therefore the three in this column if that is not a three, is down here. So three must be in one of these four cells. I think, I think I've proved that, and I just want to think about that again. If three is not here, this is four, five, or six, goes in that cage along with two higher digits, probably. Certainly not with a three. And then the three in the column comes down here with one, two, and forms a one, two, three triple, and that can't be three. Whereas if that is a three, that still can't be three. So this bulb is not a three. That's interesting. Uh, I've mistyped something there. There we go. Now. Wow, now. Remember, this digit is going in this cage along with a one or a two. Okay, I need to think about the possibilities here now. So if this is 2, 3, 6. Then, f oh, that's interesting. I might be able to work this trick again the other way around. Let me just see. What if that is not a 4? 
Well, if that is a 4, you're not putting 4 in any of these cells. If that is not a 4, it's 5 or 6. And is going in this cage. Oh, it could go with a 4. OK, I thought maybe I was going to prove 4 was in one of those three. No, that's not available. Now, what I was thinking earlier, and then I interrupted myself by getting excited about this stuff. I'm just realizing that is a seven cell area of different digits. Anyway, there is a one in one of these three cells because obviously it's not in the two cell 11 cage. It's not in the three cell 20 cage. It's not on a non-bulb cell of a thermo. So there's a one somewhere here. And now this is at least two and that's at least three. I'm going to cheekily pencil mark it. Don't tell anybody I did that. Um, I thought there might be some iterative process going on. But I'm not seeing what it is. But neither of these bulbs can be a one again. So, is it worth considering whether this can be a 2-9? Because that would limit this further. I'm beginning to see why the puzzle is called vibrations, because you kind of feel these little vibrations getting set up and rippling through. So anyway, if this is 2-8, ah, if this is 2-9, this 20 cage doesn't have a 9 in it. Now, to make up 20 in three cells, there are, I think, four ways. But there's only one way without a 9 in, and that is 875. And then this becomes 964, and that is impossible. Because if you put 875 in here, because of the 2-9 we were positing there, if you actually, it is impossible to put 875 in this cage. That is fact. Because this becomes 964 as a sequence of digits which has to necessarily have four here on the thermo. And then as well as this group being one, two, three, the remaining digits in the column, that would also have to be a three to be less than the four. No way. So this is not an 875 cage and does have a nine in. And I can take nine off the end of the thermo and I am vibrating down my thermo and removing digits. Now, this doesn't have a 9 in, therefore it doesn't have a 2 in. There also can't be a 2 here. And now the 2 in the top row is joining the 1 over here on the right, just as it did in column 1 down here. Um, and that we found a way of saying it wasn't in the equivalent of these cells down here, which it clearly isn't because 1 and 2 are in box 3 somewhere there. So they're not here. Now, one can't be on those. Oh, that peters out here, because one can be anywhere there. OK, not so interesting this time. But one and two being now confined to here stops this being a potential three, because that would need one or two to be here. So my over pencil mark thermo reduces a bit. And this becomes, well, we've got one combo of 11, be it 8, 3, 7, 4, or 5, 6 to put in this cage. And one similar combo to put here. So 1 and 2, oh, well, they're not going there on the third cell of a thermo. So they are confined to those three cells within box 1. Oh, no, I'll tell you what. Look at row 3. Where is 1 and 2 going in row 3? That's beautiful. They, those involve the one and two in row one. So one and two can't be here. They also can't come third, fourth, or third on any thermo, and they're not in the 20 box. So actually these two cells are one and two. That's a brilliant spot. I'm delighted with that, and it probably doesn't help at all. But nonetheless, it is a fact. Oh, that's interesting as well. Whatever this digit is, let's, let's color 
the ones and twos, yellow and red. Whatever this one is, is actually confined to those two cells in box four. How do I know it's not there when it could be a two? And the answer is because what would that do to ones in row three and on the thermo? It would push them both to those positions and cause a clash. Which is weird. I, why have I never seen that relationship in a thermo Sudoku before? I don't know. I don't think I have, but anyway, there we go. There, one, that one or two, that yellow one is here somewhere. The red one is somewhere up there in box one. I don't know, I and mean, the colouring may not come, not bear any fruit at all. But let's colour them cherry and banana for now, just in case it does. Now, this nine goes with... Oh, hang on! Oh no, I was wondering, do I have to keep four out of here? I can tell you what, it doesn't go with nine, it doesn't go with five and six because if that was nine, five, six, this would be eight, seven, four, and we'd have the same problem all over again with threes. Three would be forced into that group of cells and into that bulb, and that is a collocation we cannot allow. So this is not nine, five, six, this is either nine, eight, three, or nine, seven, four. Now, if it's 974, this goes 865, and then we get away with 321 by having a 4 here. If this is 983, I'm remembering finally that that digit must appear in this cage. If it's 983, then this is, well, 765. Well, I, I don't know, three digits from four, five, six, seven. Anyway, this can't be a five because it does appear in that cage. So this is down to three or four now. This, ah, this can't be six and that can't be seven. And the reason for that is because one of seven or eight goes in this cage. So if you do anything to force both of seven and eight onto this thermo, you've broken it, broken column one. So that is not a 6, and this is not a 7. But I can't reduce that. I still feel like I'm getting somewhere. And I'm out, knowing Niverio, it's always going to be linear. I'm absolutely certain this is sort of the right track to solve the puzzle. Partly because it works and it makes a little progress, one vibration at a time. At a time. But partly because... Um, it's so beautiful, really. Or oh, it's so elegant. That's the same thing. Now, 983 would force... Well, it would allow... It, that would make this a 3, wouldn't it? Whichever one of 3 or 4 is there is also here. Why is that so hard for me to keep in my head? I don't know. I don't really get a go at this. Oh, is, there's not a similar thing here with forcing that to be a four. If this was a five, six pair, that's quite constraining. What do we get here then? No, I don't think there is a similar thing. Oh, rats. Okay, I'm going to have to think a bit more about if there is no 3 in this cage, then there is a 3 down here. This does become a 1, 2, 3 set. Then we definitely go 4, 5, 6. And since this will be 4, 7, that will become 8. So this could go 5, 6, 8. But if there is a 3 here, so that that's a 3, this is 983. And I don't know what that means. It doesn't have quite so many ramifications. Oh, this cell, I could pencil mark that. It can't be 1 or 2, and it's got to be less than 7. 
Now, I haven't really used column 9 at all. Do I need to think about that more? This is at least 3 again, isn't it? So I don't know why I haven't pencil marked this one. It's like the same as all the others. Um, it's just because 9 is a bit less restrictive than 11. Um, ah, this digit is going to go in the cage. Yes. Yes, now that this cannot be one of these, it's going in the cage. And this is going in the cage as well. Both of these are in this 11 cage. With, with whichever one of one or two is here. So, what is that going to be? Three, six, two would work. Four, five, two, or four, six, one. Oh, that is more possibilities than I wanted to allow. But, I was going to say everything in the cage is from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. That's not really big news. Oh, that's frustrating. I was quite excited. Both of those have to be in the 11 cage for row 9. I bet we're going to have 1 and 2 forced out of that cage, so it has to be 3, 4, 6 later in the puzzle. Oh, I don't know. Um, right, I need to find something better, don't I? Yellow. There is a yellow somewhere here. That yellow is in one of these two. Oh, I don't know. Right, come on, think about this 11 cage then. It's not... It's not 9-2. If it was 5-6. Oh, this has to be in one of those three. And this has to be in one of those three. Again, I wanted to say both of these have to be in those three, but that one could still be on the other thermo. Yeah, I mean, that is plausible. Um, ah. Okay. Sorry. Not quite sure what to be thinking about now. Just keep searching. Let's not panic. Let's just keep looking. So, these three digits include yellow, which is one or two, and this digit, which is three or four. Hmm. No, I can't. These can't be one or two. Oh, where's nine in this column? Well, it could be there. Oh, we removed it from here. So nine ended up in one of these. Nine, and annoyingly, it can be in those two cells as well as there. It can't be down here. Uh, I'm just not sure here. Um, if that was six, this would be seven, eight, nine. The six in the row would have to go in here. And then the five in the row would have to go in one of these. So if that was six, five would be here. That's odd. If that was five, there'd be a five in this cage, 
along with two digits lower than, well, along with four and two specifically. That would be a one. Five would make that. Five, four, two, one. Oh, and then three would be in one of these cells. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, maybe it's not which two go together here. It's which two don't go together in the 11 cage. So what should I be thinking about that? Now, there was only one possibility with a one here, and that was a four, six pair. So if this was four six one, that is annoying. That sounds like an alarm has gone off on, oh, it's stopped, thank goodness. I thought on the scaffolding. Anyway, four and six there, four six one here, two there. And then three would have to be in one of these cells. Ah, right, three and four don't go together in the 11 cage. That's, that's material. Therefore, one of them is in these cells. That's right, isn't it? That is right. Three and four don't go together here. So one of them is in these cells and that's forming a virtual pair with that and this can't be four anymore. Okay, that's good enough for a tiny bit. Now again, well, three and four don't both go here. Is this not? Both of these are in the 11 cage. Come on, what is it proving? Oh, I tell you what. Oh no, I was going to say that cell in box one must be there, which would be very helpful, but no, it could annoyingly be there as well. I've just covered it in a bit too much markings. Um, oh, but we're close now. We're close now to a big breakthrough. I feel it. I want to feel it. I want to believe it. Come on, think, Mark. If you can see it, bother. If that's a six, this is seven, eight, nine. This is either six, four, one or six, three, two. And doesn't have a five in. So five must be somewhere in these cells because either that's a six and five's there or that's a five. Is that worth pencil marking? Probably not. Now, if that's a five, then there's a five in here. And it would have to be five, four, two. Then there'd be a three here, and that would be a four. Yeah, and that would be a four because those two are going together in here as well. Okay. Now, can this still be a three? This is the kind of the interesting case because that now has to be a six. So you can put three, six, two here, seven, eight, nine there, one, four, five here. Three, six, this has become nine, three, eight. Ah, it looks like it works. Oh, I feel so close down here. What's happening? Oh. Right, just got to think again. Um, now, if that's four, that's nine, eight, three, and that's three. I can't see, I haven't got a single digit. 26 minutes in, classic Nivario. I feel like I've made a lot of progress, but then I keep getting ground to a halt because I can't see the next little vibration that's actually working. Ooh, if that was a three, 
well, whatever digit this is goes in one of those two cells. If it was a three, it would have to go here with a two one pair right here. That's powerful, potentially. That would force 2, 1 into a space in the corner. So whatever this is goes on this thermo, because it's not allowed on its own thermo again. Um, and I think that means this digit is 5, 4, or 3, because oh no, it could be 6. It could be that same digit. It can't be higher than 6. So, a bit more pencil marking for Mark to get away with there. Hmm, but we're not exactly crushing this puzzle. One of one or two is here. The trouble is it could be in the corner, and I don't know how I'm meant to tell. What about this 11 cage? Come on. Think it through. Why can't it, or why has it to be 5, 6? That might be more interesting. 5, 6 here. That would be 7 or 8. That would be 8 or 9. Oh, and this cell has to go in one of these three. So if it's 3 or 4, it could be there in the corner. I thought, if this is 5 or 6, that is a 5-6 pair. I don't know. Is that reasonable to expect? I think I've got to keep focusing on these two <laughs> wretched cells that, that are trying to tell me something and I can't hear what they're saying. I can't pick up the vibrations well enough. Um... These can't involve one or two. They also can't involve any of those digits. They must be from three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, they could have a nine in. This would be eight, seven, six. That would be a 5. This would be 542, and this would be 139. I can't see the problem. There, there probably is a problem, and I can't see it. It's so irritating. Okay, come on. Let's let's figure out what's going on here. We've got a yellow one or two. We've got a yellow one or two. These include yellow and red. That we worked out couldn't be a one or a no, I worked out it couldn't be yellow. It could be a red two actually. That would be yellow one and that seems okay. Um, oh, Mark, five or six. Now, maybe I could get one or two out of this cell. Why could that not be red? Because that would help, because then it would be here, then this would have to be five or six. No, I can't see that. Okay, what are the possibilities here? If this is a four, that is nine, four, seven. And this is five, six, eight, and that's one, two, three, with a four here. And that four, one, two, three, four, that is not possible. This is for a bizarre reason. This is beautiful, actually. If that's a four, which forces there to be a four here, 
that means this is 1, 2, 3. And then you would have 1, 2, 3, 4 in these cells. Now these two cells would see all of 1, 2, 3, 4 and all the four digits on this thermo, whatever they are. I don't know what they are, but they're four different digits. And it couldn't be 1, 2, 3, 4 or, either of, or any of those four digits. And there is only one digit left to fill two cells. That's not possible. That is bizarre. So this, that's beautiful, by the way. That is extraordinary and wonderful. But it means this is a three. Now, that three, our first digit in the grid after 32 minutes, goes in this cage, which is either 352 or 361. Four in the row is in one of these cells. That three is in this cage because it's in one of those positions and in this cage, we remember why. So that is a 983 cage. This is not eight. And the four in this column is definitely here because it can't be in one of those cells. And come on. Keep going. Three, eight, nine, four. These include one or two and five, six or seven. Now, three, eight, nine. This can't be three, eight anymore. This is four, seven or five, six. Right. I'm going to say this can't be a six because that would make this six, five, four and make this unfillable. This can't be a 5, because even 5, 4 there would make this unfillable. This can't be a 7, because 7, 6 and 1... Well, you can't use 7 and 6, because one of them's got to go in here. So that is not a 7. Is that right? It's right if my pencil marking is right. Because that... Yeah, I think it is right. That can't be a 7. That's all it's telling me, I think. I can't risk saying this is not a 6, because 6, 5 there is possible. Now, this must go in one of those cells, okay? This one I'm less sure about. It could be there, or it could be here. That didn't go quite as far as I was hoping. Now, down here, one of one or two is there. The other one is here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That digit is in this box. I mean, the other digit here is also higher than four. That's not really informative. Oh, come on. I should get some reward for having got something into the grid, surely. 389. Now, this was 47 or 56, which looks awfully like the candidates in that cell. Whichever we digit we do put in this cell would determine the flavour of this cage. Oh, stuck again. Stuck like a worm in quicksand. Um, right, there's no three in the nine cage, because three is in that cage in this box. Now, if it was four, five here, these would be from six, seven, eight, nine. That is interesting because of these cells, one of them would have to be three. Yeah, again, this is a six cell area of different digits that cannot include one and two. They all see each other. Mm. So, 
what can go in here? If it's not 3-6, could it be 8-1? Which is by far the least likely alternative, I reckon. 8-1 here would take 8 out of the possibilities for those cells. Take 1 out of there. Wouldn't do that much else. 4-5 here would force this quite hard. Yeah, it's 4-5 here that would definitely put a 3 in these two cells. Ah, I can't quite grasp this. Can't quite grasp this. This is all I've got. Got to use these somehow. 4 there. And 4 in one of these. Now, this is either 3-1-6 or 3... No, it's not. I've written the wrong candidates in here, have I? I have. Okay, I'm going to have to go back to when I did that. If 3 is in that group of cells... Right, I'm sorry about this. I knew 3 had to go in them. That, that can't be a 5. It would be 5, 3, 3 to make 11. That's a 6. I'm so sorry. What a waste of time. Right, that is 2, 3, 6. And that fixes this just as the 6 does. Oh, goodness. Well, I mean, I was kind of done and I just didn't... Well, done in this section. I just didn't realise. That's now a 4, 5 pair. 1, 4, 5, 3, 6, 2. These are from 7, 8, 9. There's a 1 here. There's a 3 there. That goes in this cage. Oh, it was all a lot more straightforward than I realised at that point. Right. Let's go to there. 3, 8, 9. I think I did that before. Anyway. One, one of these is a two. Now, six has to be in one of those. And both four and five do as well. So they are both here. So that four was fine. Um, but I also get a five now. These are from two and... S well, six actually has to be there in column one as well. This is a two, seven pair. There we go. That's an eight, nine pair. Now, this can't be 6, this can't be 5. Does that have any ramifications? It does mean this can't be 6. Doesn't mean much else. No, not even to there. Um, still, I feel quite a burst of relief and energy from having done anything at all now in the puzzle. But that's a lot more digits than I had a moment ago. Right, six is in one of those cells, three is in one of those. Let's do some pencil marking. Ah, this can't be two, seven, or three, six. So it is now either four, five, or one, eight. If it was four, five, that would become a seven. Then we'd have seven, eight, nine, four, five. This would have to be a three, six pair. That would be a 4-5 pair. And that doesn't work. That's beautiful. Right. Why can't this be a 4-5 pair? I'll just get that dispensed with first. Because where do... Oh, no, 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 no. I was going to say, where do they go in the top row? And I'd forgotten that this cell could go there. Ah. Nearly, 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 nearly. But not quite. Right, that all stemmed from thinking about this being 4-5. That seems to be the more constrained option. Because this has to be 7-8-9. That has to be a 3-6 pair. Then you get 2 in one corner and 1 in the other. 3-6 pair makes this a 4-5 pair. Now, four in the top row, then, would definitely have to be in here. That would be a four-seven pair. And that feels kind of powerful, but it, it's not quite enough, is it? It's not quite enough to get anything actually written in and done. There's still thermos that I haven't really approached in the middle. Six, five, four. One of these is a Three, that's just Sudoku talking. Oh, there's a six in one of those two cells. 
and then eight and nine feature up there. Ooh, that digit and the six are these two cells. So the red one or two is definitely here which is actually not the cell I wanted to prove it was in, to be honest. But still, it's information. Um, this cell, which goes with 4, 5 or 6 to make 11, is 7, 6 or 5. This could be any of those middly digits, I suppose. Hmm. Now, again, if that was a three, if either of these were a three, they'd definitely put a three in the corner and we get a party. Um, and if that was a six, it puts a six in the corner. there any impossibility there? If that was a four, that has to be four. Um, hmm. If that was a six, this goes seven, eight, nine. That's six, five, that's a three. This is one, two, four. Again, it just balances up and works, just. I'm not saying that it's right. Oh, hang on. This digit on the thermo has this below it. And this can't be four, five, or six. So that's three or two. That's two or one. And I can give it a color, which is yellow. And that fixes yellow here. And the coloring bears some fruit. Cherries and bananas, wasn't it? I remember now. Oh, look, that's six. I don't know what I'm doing leaving six in those cells. That can't be five. Uh, if these two are going to add up to 11, those two are going to add up to 11 as well. Therefore, I can take 5 out of this one and something out of this one, 4 out of that one. And that's now a 5-7 pair, which fixes this cell at the bottom. How interesting. Sorry if that was obvious. It wasn't to me. 4, 6, 5, 7, now. This is a 1 or a 2 because we know it's yellow. And that's a pair. This is a three. Uh, this cell is not a three. It's eight or nine to complete the column. That three looks across here. Doesn't do a lot else. Uh, four, six pair. Five, seven pair. Six, five. Come on. Something break loose. Yellow. Oh, if yellow was one, it has to be there. Now, if yellow's, if yellow's here, then that is red. Now, is there a problem with that? Oh, look, yellow is in one of those two cells already, just noticed. Don't know about red and yellow here, because I don't know which one is one and which one is two. Two, three, six. No, let's start. Ah, yeah, okay. Again, these add up to 11. How does that play with these? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If this was a 4, that's a 5, 6 pair. Um, if this was a four, that's a five, six pair. Then these are from the high digits, seven, eight, and nine. I don't know what that does. Um, I can't believe this is so intractable. Why don't I know what's in this cage? Now, I've thought about it being four, five a lot, because that makes this seven, eight, nine. And this becomes three, six. Now, whatever these two are, maybe it's those two to think about, or these three, which include one and two, fair enough. But they also include something else. 
which then can't be in any of these cells. But they don't have to be different, because that one can be in this cage. Yeah, be careful. Be careful, Mark. Um, right, let's think again. If this was a 6, then we have 7, 8, 9 here. And we have to put 6 there. So if that's a 6, we end up with 4, 2, 1 above it. I don't know. Is that a problem? It doesn't seem to be a problem for me. This digit is 2, 4, 5, or 6. This is smaller, 1, 2, 3, or 5. And this is bigger. 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. That's almost completed all the pencil marking. And that does. <laughs> Every thermocell has got some pencil marks etched in into them now. So why is that? Well, it's not going to help because it's, if it was useful, it wouldn't be a Niverio puzzle is my view. Now, come on, come on, come on, think sensibly. Right, if that was one or two, this would be a three, four, six cage. Oh, it can't be a three, four, six cage because those cells can't be three or six. Therefore, there is a one or a two in the cage and not in this cell. So that's not a two, that is not a four. Okay, well that reduced some pencil marking a little. This cage has a one or two in it and only one of them. It is either, there's probably quite a lot of possibilities, one, five, seven, one, four, eight, one three nine two five six two four seven two three eight stop thinking along those lines yikes come on six five three four oh dear I'm sorry this is so slow. I hope you're doing better than me at seeing the great things that are to be seen in this puzzle, no doubt. Ah, that can still be any cell up there. This includes red and yellow. Six, five, four, that three, that felt like it was something when I got it and it's turned into next to nothing. Three, there's a six here. What does it mean? I do not know. Um, okay, yellow and red maybe. I mean, I find it interesting that this digit and this, they can't be one or two. But they don't form a full sequence of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine with these. Or, or do they sort of? So if that was a four, this would be a four, five pair. That would be 789. This would have to be 36. I have worked that out a few times. I'm doing it again because it, it just feels strong. It feels interesting. It really does. If this was a 4 5 pair, 789 have to go in here. And this will occur if this is either 4 or 5. That must be a 3 6 pair. Then we'd have a three, four, five, six quad. Which would force the three in the top row into the very corner where it would long to lose its religion and prove its position. Mm, but if this is not four, five, if this is one, eight, what's the problem with that? Well, then this cell has to be there, has to be three or six. If 
this is 1 8. And then this cell, if that's 1 8, this cell is there, and that cell is on this thermo. That's 1 8. One of these is that bulb transposed. There must be something that makes this impossible. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, if that's a six, this is six, and that's seven, eight, nine, and this is four, five. Uh, that doesn't work. This can't be one, two, three. Right, if that's a six, in column nine it has to go here. That makes this seven, eight, nine because of the six on the thermo. You end up with four, five here, and this would have to be one, two, three, but it can't be because one and two are in those cells. So that's not a six. Okay, I mean, it's the tiniest advance. Now, if I could rule it out from being a three, we'd actually be doing something then, because then it can't go here. It would have to go in this cage. Yeah, so if that's a three, and that is a three, therefore, then what? Then three in the top row is also in the corner. So if that's a three, we get threes in two corners. I mean, two parties simultaneously. But there doesn't seem to be a problem with that idea. Ah, so if it's four or five, if this is a four or five pair as a result, it's quite strong because it makes this seven, eight, nine. And then these, if this is if that's four or five, and you've got seven, eight, nine here, it doesn't feed over quite. Seven, eight, nine there requires four, five itself. Oh, so that's quite interesting. I, this cell is either four or five forcing this to be one eight, or a seven forcing this to be four five. So what does that mean? I don't know, maybe there's a problem with these being, if, if that gets forced to be three six, which I've speculated about quite a bit. Then this is a 4-5 pair. And what happens then? These are from 5, 6, and 7 as a result. No, hang on. Maybe I just look at this. This is a pair adding up to 11. If it's 4-7, that's 5 or 6. Excuse me one second. Right. Sorry about that delivery. Um... These two have to add up to 11 as well. Those two have to add up to 11. What does it mean? What does it mean? Six, five, four, three, nine. Let's just stay calm here and figure this one out. Maybe it's the 13 cage that I haven't thought about in ages. Or, here's a thought. There's a 1, 2 pair and a 7, 8, 9 that can't be in these cells. So that is 4, 5 or 6. That's 3, 4 or 5. Imagine me not having done enough pencil marking. That would be ironic. So 1 and 2 are in that little group of cells, yellow and red, as we know them in this puzzle. But one of them, we've worked out, is in the 13 cage. And is the red one, obviously. Ah, oh, but there were so many possibilities for how that cage was made up. It was frustrating. But not as frustrating as not quite seeing the way around this corner. I think that's what's happening. It's this one, two pair. They're, they're doing something, probably to these cells. And I can't work out what it is. If that was seven, I bet that doesn't work. Then you'd have seven, six, five or four there. That would have to be one, eight. So we'd have one, eight, seven, six. 
This would be 3 or 2. That would be 5 or 4. Mm, again, these would be from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No, hang on. What? If that was 7, this would be 6. Well, 9 and 8 are going to have to go somewhere up here. 7, 6. Oh, no. 8 is going in here. So 7, 6, 1, 8. Nine is the is the bogey number that's going to have to go up there somewhere if that happens. That's not enough. That is not enough. That is not a solution. What is the solution here? Ah, Neverio, you're so cruel to me. Or maybe I should be blaming Simon. That is a chance. Oh, seven, eight, nine down here are looking at these cells. I mean, I'm sure they're not going to oh, say that. If that is five, six, or seven, this can't be seven. And now suddenly this can't be six, and neither of these can be six. And isn't, is that a huge problem? I, we were saying earlier, if that's four or five, you get a four, five pair there. This must be seven, eight, nine. No, it's fine. It still lets this be a four, five pair, which is what happens if that is four or five. This can't be three. So I don't think this can ever be three, because if that's four or five, you get four, five here, seven, eight, nine there, and that's three, six, and that's not three. The alternative is that that is three, and that's still not three, so that's not three. That is four or five. Now that can roll up the thermo, a little vibration, finally. Maybe it helps, maybe it doesn't. Yes, it does. There's a five, well, maybe it does. There's a five, six, seven triple. Yes, it does. That makes that a four. That is the vibration that I probably needed. Six there, seven, five. No fives there, no five here. Three or four, come on, you're so close. Oh, no seven here, six, five, right. Four on the bulb, three on that bulb. That's three in the corner, losing its religion. That's three in the other corner. It is a double party. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with two parties going on at the same time. These are from one, two, eight, and nine. Come on, now we're getting somewhere. There must be a four in one of these cells. Um, that four must be in one of these. And three is not there. So this can't be six. This has to be four. It can't be six, or you couldn't put four anywhere in the box. Right, that's four. This is two. Am I certain it can't be three? Yes, I am. Two and one, and they get colors, and we know what colors are now, yes. Red is one. Yellow is two. Oh, this feels good. There is a one in this cage. That is the low digit we need. We're going to put it up in one of those cells. Oh, I could even color that red, I suppose. Might as well, just for completeness sake at the moment. Now, what is this made up of? With a one and a pair that add to 12. It could be four, eight, in which case it would go like this, four, one, eight. It could be nine, three in which case it would go like this, or it could be five, seven. Oh, bother. I thought I was gonna isolate the one. Yes, I do. If it's five, seven, the five has to be there. This is always the one digit in this cage. That's so elegant as well. This is a one now. They both get a color. There's a one in one of these. There's a one in, not in the, ah, oh, that is not one or two. So one, two are finally a pair in the corner. That is eight or nine in the row. One, two, four, three. The, ooh, now that four, where does, ah, oh, no, it could be in there. Or it could be there. Okay, so that is not decided yet. Six, five, these are from seven, eight, nine, and include a seven. 
uh, three in this box, in box six, there it is, and that puts five on the bulb, six on the next bit. That six I can take out of these possibilities. This one still seems fraught with possibilities. Oh look, I can do six and two down in the 11 cage. It's been available for a while, sorry if you are yelling at me. That might have been about many other things in this puzzle. Now, let's do some pencil marking here. 789, 689, 6789. One of these is a four or a five. Um, can't believe I still don't know what this nine cage is. What about these? These are from five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, there is a sort of enormous triple. Actually, no. There is an enormous quintuple of high digits. But what that suddenly made me realize is the simple question is, where does two go in this column? It goes in the corner. One next to it. Uh, we can color them, can't we? Why don't we color those? Red and yellow, yellow down there. Red is in this cage, so it's a 1-8 cage. Uh, so, no eights in those cells or in these. Where is the four in this column? It is there. Where is the five? It is there. Um, that line of fun may run out there. Not to worry, 62318, that's not an eight. Um, that is not four or six, seven or nine. Now, has this got narrowed at all? No, yes, that's not a five, so that's not a seven. Six, four, five, one, that's not a nine. Don't know why I wrote it in as a possibility, because it wasn't when I did the pencil marking. Oh, I don't say I'm gonna have to color eights and nines. I'm sure there's probably not no more coloring necessary now. Seven, two, or six, five, one, two, seven. No, I don't know what I'm looking at. I need to have a five in one of those cells. I need to have a three in one of those. There's just some straightforward Sudoku. Yes, six in the central box. There it is, there is some. Um, nine is one of those. Six, is that doing anything else? Come on. Sorry, you, you jump ahead, it's fine. This is not one, two, three, four, five, or six. So six in this row is also done. There we go. That's gonna do most of the final column. That makes this an eight. And I can finish a box, five and six there. Excellent. This has become a seven. Can't believe that 13 cage is not now finished, but there we are. Two or three, two, three or eight. That's become a nine. It is finished. Nine, one, three. Not the uh, particular flavor I thought the most likely, but that's, that's on me. Right, that's become a seven. That's okay for the thermo. Eight, nine pair, we get seven there. This is a four, nine pair not resolved, but that fixes this as a seven. That's a Five, I haven't really thought about fives for a while. That is not a three, in fact, that is not a three, so it's a two. That becomes an eight. Let's get rid of its color and finish off the coloring of ones and twos just so that we can say we did it. Oh, I haven't actually finished off the ones, never mind. Um, that's a nine. Oh, nines and eights getting done. That's what I've wanted for a while, frankly. Eight, nine, not all of them, maybe. Right, this is two and three. We do know the order of those because I colored four there. Nine and four, let's get rid of those pencil marks. I think three and one there can go in, actually. Right, that gives me the last bit of the coloring in red and yellow. That's all done now. One, eight, nine, eight. Nine, eight, and are we actually finished, Neveria? What a brilliant puzzle. That's so clever. Just over an hour. Ah. He has a way of making you feel just you could have done a bit better. 
it could have done a bit better <sighs> feeling I didn't want to have again today there we go thank you very much for watching absolute pleasure to be with you and I uh, hope to see you again tomorrow for more Sudoku on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.